Friday, and here is a video review for the third member of TFC's Uranus uh, combiner, uh, Blackbird with the X-47 Phantom Ray. Uh, he comes with uh, his little uh, bio card, as well as his uh, instruction sheet and the poster of the artwork, uh, which I'm not going to pull all the way out. It wouldn't fit all on camera anyway, but it's, it's just a... Uh, this is just a poster of the of the box art, just like has come with all the other ones. Um, and he's, you can see he's a white SR seventy one with a little piggybacky thing. Um, here's a quick look at him with uh, see if I can get him with the previous two members. And you will notice that the previous two members now have blue canopies. Um, those are Megatron thirty one from TFW two thousand five. Uh, dot com. Uh, he's done some little modifications and, and done uh, blue canopies and eyes for the characters, for these guys. Uh, and they look really nice. And also with these, it's a lot easier to open up the cockpits and look inside. So yeah, I painted the, I painted the silver on them, but uh, yeah, you can pop. It's a lot easier to pop open the cockpit and look in there. Also gives them blue eyes in, in their robot modes, which we'll show when we get to the robot mode section of the review. But yeah, if, you, if you're looking for, if you don't like the orange, uh, definitely check him out on TFW because uh, they're really nice pieces. On to uh, Blackbird himself. Um, Silverbolt, if you prefer. Um, yeah. Here he is. Uh, he does also have a couple little divots in his canopy to let you get your fingernail in there and open it up. Uh, there are blue pieces coming for uh, for him as well from Megatron 31 and, um, and and all of them. I think he's planning on doing all of them as well as like some different colored visors for the combined mode and all of that. Now, uh, one of the things you'll notice about this, and some and it's funny because somebody literally did this. Um, there, there's Silverbolt on the bottom doing some stretchy. There's his hands up here down his arms, into his body, doing some weird robot yoga <laughs> in jet mode. And much like uh, the Universe Silverbolt or Generation Silverbolt or whatever line he came out of, um, people have complained that he's basically an SR-71 with a robot strapped to it or a robot with an SR-71 strapped to his back. And somebody on TFW literally went in and unscrewed all the jet parts and you could make the entire SR had a picture of the entire SR seventy one sitting this this whole section sitting on the ground completely assembled as an SR seventy one with Silverbolt completely assembled as a robot standing next to it. So um, he really is just an SR seventy one bolted to the back of a folded up robot. Um, I don't mind that so much, and like a lot of people get really upset about that. And, you know, there's things to be. It would be nice if there was more integration. In 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 the between the vehicle and robot modes, but um, I don't get worked up over it. Um, it would be nice, but you know what can you do? Now Phantom Ray here. We'll get to him first. He pops off. There's a little peg right here in the middle of the Silverbolt's back, or your, uh, Blackbird's back. Uh, that this little drone guy pops off of, and uh, and you can fold that peg down if he's not on. So you don't have to have him attached. He just is. And, uh, and, and the thing is, like, I really, really dug the concept of having a smaller robot transform into the chest shield. I thought when they first announced the idea, it was really, really cool. And I was really, really excited for it. And then people started getting him in hand and saying he wasn't all that great. And I was hoping they were wrong. So, like, like me, you'll probably get yours and you'll pop them all together and check them out. He comes shipped. Uh, Blackbird comes in robot mode, as you saw in the intro. He comes shipped in his little jet mode. So you'll get him out and you'll pop him open and you'll... Transform him, flip his little chest piece down, and pull his legs out to the side, and bring those down and around. Flip up his feet. Flip open those, bring his arms back. And uh, flip them up, flip open these little pieces over here. And he'll get him all transformed into his robot mode, like that. And you're going to look at him and be like, all right, that's, I mean, I guess it's nice that they packed that in. But you're going to, you're going to touch him and you're going to look at him and your next instinct is going to be to just take him and kind of just chuck him off to the side like that. That's the correct instinct. <laughs> Unfortunately, the problem is like they have made him part, he, he forms the chest shield of the combined robot. And in the stock version, you're kind of stuck with him. 
I'm going to show you how to fix that. It's not something I came up with, but uh, a guy named Teckering on, I hope I'm saying that right, um, on TFW 2005 came up with uh, some really nice mods, and with the help of, you know, with his tutorial and the help of Demon SS over there as well, um, who sent me these pins. I could have pulled them out of anything. Apparently, there's some decently sized pins in Animated Optimus if you've got an extra one of those, but any standard size, the right length pin um, will help, help you do these mods. And uh, we'll, we'll explain those at the end of the video. I've actually turned, I've actually reverted him back to stock, and then I'll show you how to do the mod at the end of the video, or just show you what the mod entails. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do the mod on video, but but yeah. So uh, getting him to robot mode, the first thing you want to do is just pop this up and pop the gun off of this peg right here. And the front, uh, this whole front section comes off. You flip this up, fold up the landing gear. Uh, this little peg right here flips out. These pieces open here, clip around up onto the canopy, bring these up around like that, and then extend this, and you've got his his rifle. I, I, when, when he's in silver bolt mold, I generally shorten the barrel, have it a smaller gun, and then you can combine it into this with the uh, for the combined mode. Extend it. Let me get this back out. Now, and here we come to quality control. Uh, concern number one on this. I just bought, I think I just got a bad one because I've had to fix like four or five things on this guy. But uh, when you flip him up, there's a little peg here that there's that you can see the kind of slot right up in here. And when you flip it around, it's supposed to peg into, peg it onto that. And for some reason, my right one, or, or this one right here, this one pegs in just fine. This one will sit, and after a couple of minutes, will just work its way loose to just it'll pop off crooked again like that. I mean, even if I just leave it alone, like it'll, it'll sit there for a few minutes. But if I just leave it alone, eventually it just kind of goes, blink, and just pops, and you know, just pops right off and sits crooked again. Um, there was some excess plastic. The peg itself looks like it's probably suffered a little bit of warping, for whatever reason. Uh, I managed to trim it down some of the excess that was pushing, that was sticking up, and it's better. But but yeah, you just saw it right there. It just it, it goes on and it likes to spring back. And even it, yeah, even if I push it all the way down, it will spring back out like that. I don't know why it was that. see. I don't, I don't know why it was behaving that first couple of times. Now you see exactly what my problem was, so I guess it's not as fixed as I thought. So yeah, there, there's a one quality control concern right there, and, and it's not a huge deal because it comes packaged with these kind of bent in like that. And see, since these are on rotating things, you can still uh, you could fold these in if you wanted and still have these pointing forward. It's not the end of the world, but since it's clearly supposed to peg into that and then it doesn't, uh, it's kind of annoying. So that's the gun on to the robot itself and pretty much once you've got here you're just unfolding the robot there's some there's a few little neat tricks that uh aren't super obvious but you're really just unfolding the robot so basically you just come up here bring that piece up onto the back uh, unpeg these boosters uh, if you want these these boosters do when they're unpegged um extend out uh, you're gonna want to unpeg them from the legs as well but uh so you can get the you know extend these out and get them out of the way if you so desire um, but I find they don't really, you don't really need to do that in uh, regular robot mode. But you do want to unpeg them from down here, because these pieces, you lift this up, pull these pieces in, and then this piece collapses up onto the back. And as you can see, it has a couple of tabs that peg it together with this piece right here. And then you come under here and uh, flip the legs down. You rotate them, uh, once, once they're straight, you rotate the whole piece around at the waist. Uh, flip this down at the knee. And then this whole this this whole middle knee section rotates around like that. We don't do a double rotation, but yeah. Uh, when, when it's all folded up, you want the knee bends this way, so you want to rotate it up here, right under the hip, and then rotate it here, right on the shin. And then this red piece comes out and lifts up and raises up like that, and then you fold the, the knee guard around. Pop it into place, pull the knee rudder on, the foot folds down, and rotates around the other way. And now he can stand up. Up here on the top, all you got to do here is, uh, like I said, these can, you can plug these back in and just kind of fold them around onto the back. If this is all folded up, you can fold them around, fold the fins in. Unfortunately, I, I wish they would have put some little peg holes here, because then you could peg these in and have them sit still on the back, as you can see, but uh, they didn't. So then the, the arms, get you 
solid. Oh, there we go. Didn't have you all the way done properly. There we go. So up here on the arms, you split them right here, bring them down, rotate them here at the shoulder. There's two little panels on either side of his head that fold down like that. Bring the arms down, and then underneath here there's a little panel. Flip it up, flip his fist out. Now the fists just peg on. There's just a little peg here, and uh, I've had some problems with the fist wanting to pop off, but it's usually when I'm trying to like, it's usually when I'm trying to get under here to flip it back into, uh, to put it away in jet mode. Is to get up, you have to get, there's no place to grab it down here. You really have to kind of get up under the fist and, uh, and get your thumbnail into that. And I guess it helps if you rotate the fist like that. But I've ha I have had it pop off a few times trying to get up into there to open that flap again. But yeah. And then flip out his chest wings. And there's Silver Bolt in robot mode. We'll get him scroll down a little bit here. And you can give him his gun. Uh, again, you have to kind of be a little, can't fold his arm too much because of the point of this. But you can see it, it looks a lot better shortened with the barrel shortened here as his robot mode gun, because otherwise the barrel is going to scrape scrape the ground unless you have it at a really steep angle. So I like shortening the gun. It looks more like a looks more sized for him, although it is still a little a little on the big side. But it, I think it fits a little bit better there in uh, in the robot. And just to give you a quick uh, scale at uh, the robot mode comparison, uh, here's the other guys we've got so far. And again, you can see the blue uh, visor and optics on both of them from Megatron 31. Let's see if we can get a little closer in there to. See how they look, but they look really nice. Um, I didn't mind the orange so much, but I'm, I'm really digging the blue on them as well. So, uh, up to you, but just to let you know they are available from Megatron 31. Oh, uh, here's a quick shot. Here's all of them with uh, this little thing. <laughs> He's honestly kind of growing on me the more I mess with him, but uh, there are ways to not have to use him that are far superior. So yeah, now torso mode. Let's get that going on. So to get to torso mode, you want to take this uh, out of his hand. Now you're going to take this. Uh, it comes with a little adapter. It looks very much like the adapter for uh, Devastator's gun, and it and it's the same piece. Um, and the little peg here on his gun, it pegs right onto that. It's it's built to peg right onto that. Now again. Real quick caveat, quality control issue number two. You can see the back of this looks a little rough right now. If, if it's actually, yeah, you can see where I had to shave some of this down. Because the way this was molded, the flat part has to go into the flat, the back part of the fist. And the way this was molded, there was too much material back here so it wouldn't fit in the hole right and would just keep popping out of the hand. Shaving this down fixed it. Because now it sits flat against the back of the hand and lets the peg peg into the peg hole. Before, there was so much material back here, it was pushing it forward, and you couldn't get the peg into the peg hole straight, and it would want to pop out. So it's fixed, but again, just another issue with the, uh, with the figure. And like, again, there's that. I don't know why that was working so well, and as soon as I mentioned the problem, they're like, oh, I got it working a little better, and now it's not, but whatever. So extend the gun, and we'll set that off to the side. So, the, here's the official torso mode for this. You bring this whole chest plate out like this, open it up, and in here, and it does it does unpeg from up here as well. Gives you a little bit of room. It lets you open up this, and you can reach in here and pull the combiner head out. We're just gonna bring that out to the front. Uh, just like that. There it is. We'll get we'll get into this more in a minute. The arms, you lift up around. Actually, you just want to lift them straight up. Again, you have to get under here and flip these. They should, you know, like, you'd think that they would pop up automatically, but because of the ridges here, 
they don't and you got to get up in there and there you go flip the panel up you can turn the head around if you want actually you don't want to turn the head around because there's a peg there uh, we'll get to but you lift this up and you kind of have to lift this piece up a little bit and peg the shoulders in up up here next to the head they don't peg in when you when you rotate the arms around for jet mode the pegs sit next to this uh, when you flip them up without flip, rotating them around you have to peg them in uh, to these peg holes to get them to stay into place and then the arms themselves rotate around and down and there's a little peg here that pegs into this slot under here you do also flip the uh, flip the fists in Yeah, so you flip them around. As you do that, you can see the connectors get revealed up here. And flip them out like that. Then this comes up, uh, this peg under here pegs into the top of his head like that. And now you've got his combiner head. Uh, this whole chest panel, you open this up, you flip it up, you pull this whole piece down, and then flip this piece up here, and this whole thing should peg together like this. And this piece stays down here. Um, in the other, in the, in the mod, I'm going to show you this piece. Actually, instead of coming down, comes up to cover the chest and looks like a better chest piece than X47. But there's that. You want to flip this around first as well, too, because this is going to. In this way, you want to flip this down because this is going to come down and cover it. So yeah, this you don't really mess with back here. You just kind of these can stay back here. You can pull these off. These uh, again, they, they, they extend out. They also use regular pegs to peg in here. So. Uh, you can remove those if you don't like them. And then the legs, much like before, you flip them up around like that. Uh, fold the feet up, basically turn them back into jet mode. You bring this up, uh, flip this piece up like that. And again, that exposes the connector on the bottom here. And flip that up. And there are the, and there's his torso mode without the phantom ray. Let's bring this down a little bit here. Now, uh, the visor here on his face can lift up. You can lift it up over his eyes, above his eyes. And it slides up into his forehead. Here we go. Um, and then you can, re you can reach up here and he's kind of got aviator sunglasses. You slide him down like that. Uh, the antenna here, uh, extend up snap into place and uh, and and before we get into X, uh, the phantom ray here is my complaint uh, quality control issue number three and I'm gonna try to get up close on his face it's clearly a quality issue because other people have not complained about it but if you look at look at that sloppy it's like it looks like somebody hammered his face he's it's just like melty warpy paint it looks like it looks like if I can clean that paint up or put a smoother you kind of sand that down and put a smoother coat of paint on there, it'll be fine. It doesn't look like the plastic itself is pitted, although I could be wrong. It looks like it's just a, a crappy paint job. But you can see it came on all blotchy. And, and th those aren't just like swirls in the paint. Like there's actual divots there. It's like this bumpy hammered metal face. Which again, I mean when you're paying this much for something, I'd like it to be... I, mean, I understand that sometimes there are paint flaws, but that just looks horrible. So yeah, I just got unlucky on mine, <laughs> apparently. But... uh just something to be on the lookout for. So we'll stand him up here. Uh, kind of lean him against the backdrop here while we uh, work, deal with uh, X-47. Can you stand up? Can you do it? There we go. He's going to fall forward and watch this. But uh, So X-47, you flip him over. Now, it's easier if you start from jet mode. But you bring this around. You leave this flipped up. Hold this up, and these kind of sit, and that's just it. There's there's no definitive spot to peg these in. You fold, you know have, you have these these exposed. Uh, you bring the legs up and around like this because these pegs right here are what's going to peg into uh, the chest. But there's no there's nothing I can find to indicate when you have it right. You just got to kind of guess. Uh, it should look kind of like that. You should have these pieces kind of angled down underneath here, and then these pegs peg into these holes right here on the 
on the chest, or right here on the chest. But so you peg that in. And really the best way to do it, you just got to get one pegged in and then come around and position the legs to peg this one in. But he himself does not peg together at all. So you've got this loose, floppy chest piece that doesn't really hang together very well. Um, but that's, that, that's the official chest mode. And we'll go ahead, of course, and combine him with the others. I will put, uh, actually we'll put him over here. And then we'll snap uh, him up here, Phantom up here. So we got Phantom and Air Raid down here. And then just to give him uh, some balance, we'll show off the whole thing. We're going to use, uh, I found if you flip uh, his arms down around like that, it, it gives him a little bit more height and stand. Let's, let's, uh, him stand a little bit more level because uh, he is uh, in the leg a little bit bigger than uh, Hercules. His legs are a little bit longer, but that's a configuration that lets him do that. We'll put, uh, and like I said, we brought a neck breaker here to go on just, just to represent his other arm. And, and here's, like I said, it's, it's a hybrid, but there he is all combined with the jet pieces. So you get an idea of what he's going to look like. And he's kind of cool. He's tall, he's big, he looks neat. That chest plate really makes him look kind of dumb. So, uh, especially since there's like the gaps up here that you, where you can see the connectors through and you can tell it's like they sit several inches behind the thing and it's very obvious from the front. There is a way to fix it and we're going to get into it. Basically, Tekering has given a mod. One, he's made a mod that lets this move to the backpack. And you'll notice that uh, I've drilled a hole through his crotch because these two pins, and you have to drill a hole into the gun, but again, it's not noticeable because it goes right in the barrel of the gun. But these two pins, one pin, you drill the hole up here on the top, right up here into this peg, put one of these pins in, and that one lets him sit on the back, sit as a backpack and kind of fill in the shoulders a little bit, as well as still, if you drill the hole in here, still allows the uh, the gun to plug in. The other pit involved, as you see, this uh, this lower down, and the other bit involves drilling some holes here in the uh, in the underside of the uh, of the waist piece, and using a, a, a one of these longer pins to flip. Basically, you're flipping this hinge, so instead of coming down, it sits in the same position in in silver bolt mode in, in regular robot mode, but instead of coming down, lifts up here, and and covers all this and fills this in much better. Um, I'm, I'm going to take it apart. I'm, I'm not going to try to take it apart on camera because there's little pins. And I don't want to lose them. I'm going to go ahead and swap those pins out. We'll come back and we'll show you what that looks like. So hang on just a minute and we'll get that done. For and alrighty, as promised, here is the tekering mod to the chest. Here it is down in silver bolt mode, which is where it would normally stay. Now before, we, let's get, uh, in this version, you want to have the uh, Waste piece, again, it's really easy to, just to, to fix it that way, but you want to have this piece stay in the front to give him his waist piece. Now, all we've done is reverse a hinge in here. I'll, I'll put a link down in the description to the post that describes how to do this. But now, instead of coming down here to cover this piece, this whole chest piece comes up. Now this, well, the black part stays the same, but the, the red chest piece comes up. Flip these out. And it comes up to fill in that upper body. And it looks much better as a chest piece. It uh, it covers those gaps in the shoulders. Um, and it looks more like a G1 Superion chest piece. I don't know why they didn't do that in the first place. Um, and it gets rid of the need at all for the uh, the X47 chest piece. Although, again, now that we've drilled, since we drilled that hole in his crotch, if you drill a hole up here in this peg and put the same size pin up in here, now we can take this... And using this hole, put uh, attach X47 up here. And again, you drill a hole into the end of the gun so it can still peg onto that peg. But now he can set up here. Let me line this up right. It's kind of hard to do from underneath. There we go. Get him on here. And then you can position his legs up here on either side of the shoulders to kind of, again, fill in that upper trap shoulder area there on. Uh, 
and it just gives them a much more complete looking upper body. You don't have to you know, like you don't have to put that pin in. You can totally just chuck if you just want to do the one pin and reverse the chest piece. You can just chuck the uh, or put X forty seven aside. You don't have to use them up here, but it's neat that you can. And like I said, just just real quick, I'll show you since we've drilled this on with that with that hole drilled into the uh, just the barrel of the gun, and it's real easy. I'll show you again. I'll show you what you need uh, when you transform him back to uh, to Blackbird mode. Come on off of there. <laughs> um, it, the, the pin just slides right up into the barrel, and everything snaps right together, just like, well, let me get it lined up right here. Oh, come on. I know you're lined up right. I know I got the hole in there. There we go. Uh, you can see it pegs right on like it should. So, yeah, uh, really easy to do. Um, the, the tool you're going to want to get is a pin vise, is what it's called. And it's just, uh, it's like, it's just a little hand drill. I'll show you. Here's one, here's the one I got. It's uh, fairly cheap to find. Um, but it's just this little, about the size of a, of a small pen, you know, like a short pen. And up here in the, in the cap, it comes with several different size uh, drill bits. I'll get one out here. From, you know, they range from big to very, very tiny. Here's the one I used for the mod. Um, and it's one of the bigger ones, and you just unscrew this so it opens up right here. Uh, drop this in, tighten it up, screw it the other way so it tightens down around and locks that drill bit into place. And then now you've just got like a small hand drill, and you just drill. You just you put the you use the pressure and twist it, and you get a nice gentle. A uh, very effective drill. It removes all the excess. You get little swirls of plastic coming out. But um, real easy mod to do if you have one of these. And uh, like I said, you can find them fairly cheap. So yeah, there's my review of Blackbird. Like I said, he's not perfect out of the box. Um, I have to say, overall, the Superion is a little bit more disappointing yeah, than, uh, than Hercules was. Uranus or whatever. But, um... I mean Hercules, but I mean, I said Superion for here. But anyway. So yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to completing it. And I'm sure my, my I'll have some better opinions when he's done versus using half of Devastator here. Um, people have complained about the face. The face doesn't bother me so much, uh, aside from the, the, the quality control issue with the paint that I, that I mentioned on mine. But it, it doesn't bother me so much. I like the little flip-down visor. Um, it looks like Superion's head. So uh, that's really all there is to it. But I am looking forward to seeing it all done. Um, I'm, 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 I'm still enjoying it. I just wish there were some. There were a few things that I wish they had done a little differently. But yeah, there it is, uh, Blackbird, with uh, Phantom X-ray or X-ray 47 or Phantom Ray, whatever Phantom Ray X-47 Phantom Ray.